All right, here's a video for um, Fire Armor Skeletor. And if you are um, old enough or have seen it on YouTube, um, when they released the He-Man Masters of the Universe um, live action movie, I know there's a lot of people that aren't fans of that movie, but actually for being the only um, live action movie that we've gotten, um, I think they really did what they could with the line because again I believe they relaunched the movie because either they knew the line original line was ending or they were trying to you know bring people back into it so um, I really think um, people have to realize with that movie and other movies is the directors don't always have all the control that they have um, the studios are the ones that are in control but anyway so the point of the, mentioning the movie is because I think this is pretty close to and yeah, I know, maybe a stretch, but I think it's pretty close to what um, Skeletor looks like um, at the end of the movie. And hopefully by now, if you um, haven't seen the movie, um, you've already seen clips of what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, that's one reason why I like this um, figure. I have him with a regular Havoc staff, which I have other Skeletors, but... Since I just did a video for the um, Ice Armor He-Man, I thought it made sense to do one for Fire Armor Skeletor. And um, I know that a lot of the fans on um, the new Maddie Collector um, forums that are at MaddieCollector.com are really happy to have the classics because it's an updated version of what they remember. Um, but I really wish they could have put as much detail in the classics as they did in these figures. Um, just because that is so realistic to me. And I think it's so much better. But anyway. Um, so I really like the Havoc staff. But he did originally come with um, this one here. And I do like it. But I don't think I ever really used this one um, because I wish they could have broken it. I know it's because it's spring loaded, so maybe they weren't able to do it. But I wish they could have broken this up somehow so his hand could fit um, in between here somehow. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like when it fires. So you can see it goes pretty far. It went from all the way here to all the way over there, and that is quite a distance. Um, cool thing with it is as long as big as the missile part if you want to call it that is you can actually have it where he can um, hold it try and get it in his hand there we go so I don't know that he's supposed to be able to do that but I like the fact that he can hold it and then he can still have the other havoc staff um, also love the fact that you know the ram horns are supposed to be clear flames I mean could you imagine if those were really flames that would be pretty scary um, then the other thing I wish that the classics are able to do if they do release a fire armor Skeletor is I hope they really can get um, this much detail because you can see there's just you know carvings and oh even the back of um, this all being flame is really cool because he comes with actually two of these um, I only have one of them unfortunately I either lost the other one or it broke and even though it is soft plastic I really think that's what happened but maybe I lost it but anyway so you can slide it in the back of Skeletor's armor Ah. <laughs> all right so these actually do slide much better but again my bad not having a hands-free camera and what's kind of cool is you can either have them um, facing out that way or you can have them turn the other way I'm not really sure which one looks better, but I think either way, 
they add to the look of Skeletor, and I think either way they look great. Um, he's got a little bat armor thing here, and if you've ever seen Skeletor's armor, he already has a type of bat thing, so I think that's cool that even without the whole um, armor on, they still put the bat part on. Um, nice um, fire effect to the loincloth. Nice little, um, what do you want to, I guess, flame type skulls. Then he's got these flame type um, spikes out the side. <coughs> Pardon me. And just so much detail. So it'd be a real shame if Classics um, doesn't release this look of Skeletor, which I think resembles his final transformation um, in the original He Man uh, movie, live action. Um, but I guess in the same way that maybe if they can't achieve this detail and the look of all this, um, because this might actually um, hinder his um, articulation, which is, I think, the main focus with classics, in my opinion. One reason why I started, even though I only got Skeletor so far, that's why I'm going to try and collect it if I can, is because they finally started giving articulation to the He-Man characters, which I think is great. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting is that Skeletor usually has uh, blue skin, and I love the backstory about why he's blue and all that stuff that I'm starting to learn from, you know, going back and uh, finding out about the 2000 line and the, you know, other things that He-Man.org tells you about. But what's kind of interesting is even though he's blue, I don't know if these were originally going to be painted a different color because it almost looks like he has armor that's blue over his regular body because normally he doesn't look like this but anyway another awesome awesome figure I think um, that I hope I will be able to get in the classics line um, so that was a video for the 2000 modern series of Masters of the Universe and thanks for watching